Today's Bible study is titled Expectations of Resting to Walk, Part 4. As I noted in Parts 1 through 3, due to many years of a frustrated walk, any time I now hear about the walk of a believer and member of the body of Christ, I must go back and frame that walk as it is summarized in the overall teaching of the Apostle Paul and particularly in his Ephesian epistle. A few key words in Ephesians direct us to how this is all supposed to work. These are sit, walk, and stand. After briefly looking at sit, walk, and stand in parts 1 to 3, today we'll get back to the intent of our series title, Our Expectations of Resting to Walk. If we are to rightly understand the walk of a believer and member of the body of Christ, we must first always remember that this begins and continues with the believer's rest sit in the rightly divided truth regarding their position in Christ, who they are in Christ, and the expectations the believer can have of what God has and will accomplish as this truth rest, continues to be a reality in living out from the overflow. Let's dig into this a bit. As practical evidence of this, looking at the instruction in Ephesians 4 verse 22 and 24, two things that can be expected accomplishments we can have from God in our walk are as follows. Number 1. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Ephesians 4 verse 22. We can expect that, resting in the truth, we will put off the former way of life of the old man, knowing it to be corrupt due to deceitful lusts. Number 2. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Ephesians 4 verse 24. We can expect that we will put on the new man, knowing he is created by God in righteousness and true holiness. But don't miss that right in the middle of these two verses is verse 23, which instructs, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, which is a direct reference to rested belief of the truths and doctrines concerning the believer and member of the body of Christ, in Ephesians chapters 1 to 3. This is also essentially the same instruction as Paul's statement in Romans 12 verses 1 to 2, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, and acceptable, and perfect will of God. Am I sensing a theme here? When the mind is renewed in the truths of our identity and position in Christ, the walk is the result. The walk, put off and put on, is produced from the overflow of being renewed in your mind with rested belief in the truths of God's word concerning who we are, in Christ, and the resulting expectations that we should have as to our walk in Christ. And the expectation we can have is that God will produce our walk and fruits thereof from our rest in the truth. Ephesians 2 verse 10 and Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. Apart from rest in the truth of the rightly divided doctrines of who we are in Christ, we are trying to do it ourselves. And the result is no real progress. You just get tired. Believer, if you study the word, rightly divided, and have immovable rest in the truths concerning your identity in Christ, you will rest to walk and avoid trying to do before understanding how to be, knowing who you are. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.